And now it's time for the dumb question of the month. Here to answer this month's dumb question, James Patrick Holding. Hello, folks. For this month's dumb question, we have a minor canard that's popular among fundy atheists arguing against the resurrection. It centers around this passage in Matthew 28. And the dumb question is, doesn't the fact that some doubted indicate that some there didn't really believe that Jesus was resurrected? And from there they ride the hobby horse further to say that maybe this proves Jesus wasn't resurrected in the first place. Well, the obvious problem is that the funny atheist critic assumes that what was doubted was that Jesus was resurrected. They seem to think that's the obvious target for the doubting. But what Jesus says within and then beyond the passage gives us the real target. In verse 17, the contrast is made between those who worship Jesus and those who doubt. Worship didn't mean simply bowing down. It meant devoting oneself to the service of the person or being you were worshiping. Then notice what Jesus says after that. He explains the basis for his authority and gives the disciples instructions to spread the word. What these people had doubts about wasn't Jesus being resurrected. They had doubts about what it meant and what they were supposed to do about it. So there you go, another fundy atheist hobby horse unsaddled. Which means that now you can... Yeah, well, you've seen enough of these things to know that that was going to happen, right? <laughs>